Well, got a leaking radiator. You can uh, see the remnants on the floor. So, the issue that I've got is the radiator is split on this side. Uh, on the inside where the fins go into that uh, aluminum section that the tanks clamp to. Uh, one of the fins apparently is cracked or something um, right where it's soldered in so I don't know if it can be repaired uh, the radiator repair place says that they may be able to but they'd have to see it and I'd have to take it out obviously to show it to them uh, it is $1,600 for a new one I may be able to find a used one I don't know more than likely more than likely what's going to happen is they won't be able to repair it. I can't find a used one and it'll be $1,600 for a new one. So, please forgive the spot right here. Uh, I've got a new, got a new uh, lens protector ordered, but I don't have it now. And unfortunately I have to start this now. So, I figured I'd start and see what happens. So... Some of the issue I'm going to have is that I don't want to uh, discharge the air conditioner if I don't have to, but obviously the air conditioner condenser is on the front, so I need to take that loose and move it out of the way. Uh, this truck specifically has two radiators, it's got this big one that's inside the metal frame and it's got this little one on the front and it's got the intercooler on the front so I was thinking I could just kind of pull this out but you can't pull it out because the intercooler is over the top so that's going to cause a problem there um, I thought I could unbolt the frame and slide it out the side but as you can see the frame wraps around the inlet and the outlet so I can't do that So, because I thought maybe I could pull it out this side. Um, obviously, I got the intercooler tube, which I, mean, I could take the clamp off there. But same thing on this side, the uh, radiator bracket or frame, whatever it is, wraps around the uh, the outlet. So I can't get it out without taking this apart. I can't get it apart because the intercooler is in the way. And I can't get the bolts out of the bottom here. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to take this front grill off, move that, remove that out of the way. I'm going to loosen up the bolts for the um, for the air con air con er, the condenser, air conditioning condenser right there. And I'm going to try to just kind of move it out of the way. I think these two are flexible, so I might be able to just kind of take it and, and unwrap it and move it to the side so I got that out of the way and then I can probably pull the intercooler off the front and uh, then either disassemble this to get the radiator out or just remove the radiator with the whole frame together might be might be easier I don't know once I get to it I'll I'll know better what I'm gonna do but I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is take a uh, take this grill grill off so the grill's got four, four nuts or two nuts, there's a nut there, one on each side and a bolt there, one on each side, here and there. So I'll take those two out. Um, this nut here is also the uh, air conditioning condenser, lower bracket, and that there is the upper bracket. So I'll take those two off, uh, they appear to be 13 millimeter uh, for all four of them. So, or all six of them. So I'll remove those and then uh, try to get this out of the way. All right, so things got a little sidetracked to begin with. You get into that situation where everything's overlapping everything else and you gotta figure out what one's on top. So I ended up taking the, that grill off at the, at the star bits that were in the front. Uh, the Torx had bolts, they were T40. And then the ones down here and on the other side for, about 13 millimeter 
there's a grill so i'm gonna take off the uh intake tube here loosened up the clamp down there and i gotta get at the clamp up here because it can't really get it out of the way so to do that i had to take off the uh piece of intake tubing uh off the uh was that a math math sensor and then to the turbo so i took uh took a shop tile and put it on there and then I kind of wire it around so stuff can't go in there if you want you could take the hose clamp off of the the boot there if you can get it off and then you just kind of put that on and just kind of put the hose clamp over the top uh, I'll do the same thing down here for this uh, section of intercooler for the uh, intercooler boot there and then um, I'll blow this off so you get as much dirt off as you can so it's not able to get back inside. So uh, we had a clamp here for the uh, air conditioner line. I went to there, so I gotta take that off. Then I could pull this off, and then um, then I can try to get the uh, condenser out of the way. So it's just got 13 millimeter bolts or nuts on top, and then obviously that one was removed already. With the grill and then uh, there's two nuts here that I'll put the nuts back on when I'm done when I got it off so I remember where they go and uh, yeah so then after that I'll probably I gotta figure out how I'm gonna drain the coolant out of it because it doesn't have a regular coolant drain it's got this stupid drain one of those I don't even, I don't even know what the fitting's called. It's like a pressure test port or whatever it is. I don't know, but it's kind of irritating because I don't have that fitting. I don't know why I couldn't just put a regular drain on there. Maybe I could just remove it totally. Yeah, it looks like it's threaded on there. I'll probably just take it off and do it that way. Um, so yeah, so I'll remove that and then... uh. Yeah, I'll figure out what I'm gonna do next. So, I just pulled that plug out. It's this type of fitting, whatever it is. It's like a quick connect. Quick connect, quick disconnect, whatever you call it. But, that's what was in there. So, I pulled it out. And I'm hoping that I don't have more than five gallons of coolant in there. Or I'll have to put it back in. So, is that uh, I unhooked the shroud here uh, there was a bolt there and then two up there I took out the pin for the, the hood cable uh, this looks like it's all kind of pinned together in one piece so I'm just gonna kind of flip it up top like this and I got this disconnected so basically I just gotta pull it forward and I'm gonna try to stand it up and then maybe kind of tuck it up on the engine or something. Uh, once that's out of the way, I'll probably remove the intercooler next. And uh, shouldn't be too big of a deal. I think there's just a couple bolts. There's one there and then I think a couple at the top. And then uh, I might remove the other radiator. We'll see, I might leave it there if I can. Um, um, yeah, so. Hmm. It's like it's going to be close. Uh, you know, actually, I like using these, uh, death bottles. Catch some in here. Well, got a little close to the five gallon bucket. It is, uh, and I got probably got a gallon in here, so I more than likely would have overflowed that bucket. Uh, I usually kind of have a shortage of buckets. And, uh, so I just like to. 
I clean these out, and I'll reuse them for coolant or stuff of that nature, because, I mean, when you drain it out, especially with the, uh, with the Ford engines, you gotta kind of drain them here or there to do stuff with, on them. And, uh, yeah, so, I found it to be kind of handy to just kind of reuse these, uh, That's how I got there. I just got it sitting up on top. So, I'll pull that and take the uh, that intake elbow or whatever it is off there. And then I will remove the inner cooler. Looks like there's a, looks like there's a nut there. And there's a bolt there. I don't know what we got at the bottom. I got some stuff down there too. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, there's one there. Right above the. Oh, you can't see it, but there's one there. And probably one over here somewhere. I don't know. I'll find it. And then we'll pull the intercooler off. And then I'll look into how I'm going to get the radiator out. All right, so we got the inner cooler out. Uh, I had to take this bracket off down here because the way that the elbow went down, it was hitting the elbow to try to get it up off of the bolt that's up on top. So here's the inner cooler. This bolt up on top of a stud, so it had to come up. But this right here was hitting that bracket. So you got one bolt there, a nut there, a bolt there, and a nut down or a bolt down there. What is that? So I'm just gonna take this little little radiator off. Uh, I'm just gonna take the hose clamp off there, and then there's two looks like 13 millimeter bolts on both sides. Uh, looks like this one's got a drain on it. Um, and then there's two bolts there. Two over there, and then that should come out. I'm gonna take that hose off up top, and then, uh, yeah, we ought to be able to get that out there. I think this is still probably get half full of coolant, so I'm gonna take the top hose off. I took the, the two bolts off this bracket here, and um, I took some of the top brackets off um, I took this washer bottle bracket off that was right here um, the nuts on the studs for the that hose that runs across took them off um, so I'm just kind of disconnecting everything uh, so once I take this radiator off I think I might pull it out of the way and hang it over here like on the edge of the hood and maybe strap it around some of these brackets up up to the top of the hood or something and uh, just kind of hang that out of the way. Um, I guess I could just take the hose off the bottom and drain it. And uh, then I won't have to worry about hanging it and I'll just take it out and move it out of the way. But that sounds better. Um, so yeah, once, once that's off, then basically most of the stuff will be off the top here. I just got to take the, the uh, three bolts on the top of the bracket there for the, the uh, expansion tank. And then the bolts along the edge of this cowl, and then I can move that back, and then cut these band clamps, whatever these are, these kind of like shrink clamps here off. And then I think what I'm going to do is disconnect the two bars here, 
and I think I'm going to unbolt this top half at the bottom of the uh, the frame and then just pull the whole the whole top half off and out of the way uh, I'm gonna leave it bolted in uh, on the cross member I mean if you want to there's two bolts on the cross member so you could just take the whole thing off if you want but I gotta take it apart anyway so that's the way I'm gonna do it I don't really have anything to lift everything out so I mean granted I don't know how much that just that small piece of frame on the bottom would weigh extra but I don't know, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. So, yeah, all right, so I'm going to pull this hose off, finish draining this, take the top hose off, remove the top four bolts of the, the secondary radiator, and pull that out of there. And like I say, most of this is off. So we just got this one bolt here from uh, the frame that goes back, or the, the support that goes back. And we'll cut these, pull them off, then take the cowl off, and basically the same thing on the other side. See, they're in a, in a ton over here, just a lower hose, these three bolts for this piece here, the three up on top, and then this bottle's out of the way. And it looks like it's a couple of bolts down here, maybe two or three, three down here maybe. And then we got three over here, so it looks like there's probably three in each corner, and then the top half would come off. Uh, I think that's gonna, how I'm gonna do it. And we'll see when we get there. So that's how the brackets are. I don't know why I didn't take this fender off earlier, but I'm taking it off now. better than it was. Be a pain. Remember where all these bolts go? They're all like the same exact bolt. I guess I can watch the video. Do the washer bolts there and those bolts with that. I guess this is kind of a video for my knowing as well as yours.
These are the shroud bolts. Well, two of them. How it comes off the bottom. So there was two on the top, two in the middle, and like one on the middle behind the fan that'll be fun <laughs> right. so there's one I don't know if you can see it right in there so that'll be fun to get off but We'll get it. Put these with the other ones. So I got the three 13 millimeter bolts on both sides. Um, if you're taking this out the way that I'm taking it out, you probably don't have to get that lower bolt that's in the middle. I got it out, but I'll probably put it back in before I put it back together, just because um, that piece is that's in the lower section that's actually staying. So it's probably not necessary to actually take that out. Obviously it would be easier to take the hood off, but I'm just here by myself. I don't really know how heavy the hood is. I don't, I mean, I know I can't do it myself. Um, you could probably take the whole pack out and lift it out over the top or something like that. It'd probably be easier than what I'm doing, but I don't know, sometimes it's easier to do it the hard way. At least for me, anyway. This is 18 millimeters here. Leave that in there to hold it up. I'll take those same six bolts out on the other side. Um, When you're cutting this, you want to make sure you don't go obviously into the hose, which is kind of hard to do. At least I think so. I don't know if there's some special tool to get these off or what. Probably cut the whole hose off and buy a new one.
one. I just gotta do the same thing on the other side. We got more corn over here. Yeah, that's a full bucket. So, I got, I think, mostly everything on this side. Um, I'm going to leave these supports on until I obviously take, take the radiator out. I think everything's off the front. So, yeah. Let's pull that back. Like I say, I'll probably put that middle bolt on before uh, I put the other radiator, before I put the, put it back together because I don't think it's going to matter. Put that bottom piece on and just kind of push it back because it just slides up against it. Doesn't, it doesn't go window or anything. So. Let's go get the other side. Like this. 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 I need that hook. So, same deal over here. Got the uh, six bolts at the bottom. And then, um,. We gotta cut this band up here, like we did on the other side, and uh, yeah, we'll loosen up this.
Huh. Looks like I screwed it up shoving this in there. Yeah, we might have to change that. Is that hose clamp? Yeah, I think it's a 14. Well, I got some 15 in my hand, but it seems to be loosening in it. So, let's see if I can get it with this. I didn't have to take it all the way off, I just had to loosen it up so I can get some play. So basically, I think we're ready to come out. I'm just gonna take these two bolts off and I imagine it'll come right off. I'll probably have to wait to get some help though because it's probably gonna be heavy. Where's the leak? So, is that? 